Here we have it, the Surfy Bear Reverb Tank. Uh, designed and assembled in Sweden. And still very nicely priced. Feeding off 12 volts DC. And not a, a jack which is not common. But I think it was used by Electro Harmonix before. So it's not completely uncommon. You can already see the springs. And this is a nice little spongy thing to block the strings from jumping around too much when you transport the unit or when you're not using it at all. So abracadabra, tackly tack, here we go, lifting up the back plate. I can't do it with one hand. So here's the tank itself. It's just lying inside this chassis like this and fairly long springs yeah ticky let's see but there's almost no circuitry to be found anywhere in this thing maybe here but we'll have to see how we get to that Yeah, of course, the tank is hooked up with two connectors, red and white, in and out, probably, and uh, it comes right, right out like this, so we can set this aside for now. Here's the PCB, one-sided, and of course, all the pots and the jacks are mounted on the PCB, and all the knobs have to be taken off in order for us to be able to take out the PCB and have a look because all the components are on the other side however there is this mystery package which I unpeeled before Christmas but seem to be like two power transistors The whole PCB is held into place by uh, the jacks and the pots. So we'll have to remove all these screws and washers in order to remove the PCB and have a look at what's on the PCB. Yes, we have to take the tape off because it's keeping the... Or are they glued as well? Oh yeah. The heat sinks are glued to the chassis. Yeah, and here is the PCB. Entirely consisting of SMD components. Input is here. These are condensers, electrolytic condensers, 
uh, 100 microfarads at 25 volts. Power transistor. And here is a famous standard Stombox true bypass switch. Well, two of the three sides are uh, poles are used. And I was supposed to look into this because um, the same as goes for the jacks, they're PCB mounted, then they get a lot of wear uh, getting stomped on in the case of this switch or getting plugged into, as is the case for the jacks. Easy to recognize the components because the letters indicating their numbers uh, give you a clue as to what the component does. R is for uh, resistors and D is for diodes um, and even these small packages over here. Zoom. Like D5, D6 and so on. They contain two or three di diodes, I think. Is a trim pot to uh, set the internal gain and the Q8 as well as all the other Qs will be transistors. Some test points as well. Makes it easier during construction to see if the unit is working properly. And here also for the switch. DT. There were some complaints about uh, not working properly and not immediately functioning and uh, Having to check, take the jack out and put it back in again, but the solder joints on on the input seem to be okay and not cracked, as is one of the problems after usage. Did he? Go away. So the solder joints on the input are solid, not cracked at all. It's a fairly new unit, but what I did discover is with these plastic jacks, it's cracked. And this might cause it to lose some tension on the jack and some intermittent problems maybe. I'll have to check with the owner again and see what exactly the problem was. The foot switch jack and uh, is also used and, and it has the same problem. It's also cracked. But here as well, the solar joints are okay. No cracks, nothing torn off. And, but two of the three uh, plastic jacks have cracked right in the middle there. This one's okay. And that's one of the big disadvantages to these plastic PCB mounted jacks. They break, they break very easily and they are a pain in the ass to replace because you have to take the PCB out. Here are the pot values. 250k linear, 50k linear, 
another 250k linear and another 50k linear and looking from the top the familiar looking stonebox switch is not so familiar seems to be a different construction from the ones I've seen before and the stonebox switch is mounted vertically uh, by means of another piece of board that connects to the main board like this Thank <laughs> you.